Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. My channel is a combination of watch reviews, exploring, traveling, and sharing it all with you guys. I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, or share the video to someone else who might be interested. In today's video, I visit one of my most favorite spots to eat. I checked out the Grand Seiko Boutique on Madison Avenue and I went for a bike ride around Central Park and I hope you enjoy this video. The watch I wanted to review today is this Grand Seiko SBGA 437 that features a beautiful champagne sunburst dial. If there is one thing that Grand Seiko is known for, it would be their silky smooth spring drive movement. Not only is it super accurate to plus minus one second a day, but it's also very eye appealing to look down at the wrist. The seconds hand just glides elegantly across the dial, and I find this SPGA 437 to be such a clean looking timepiece. Now by no means am I a fashion type of guy, but here's just my outfit that I decided to wear with this watch today. I've been having a craving for tacos these days, and if you want to try one of the best tacos, I highly, highly recommend this spot called Los Tacos Number no. 1 and they are without a doubt one of the best tacos I have ever had. There's a few locations throughout New York City, but they are super popular and typically always has a line. Each taco is around the $5 price point, but they are so worth it. They are filled with tons of meat and has so much flavor and it's just the best taco ever. After ordering, you get a ticket that you hand to the chefs and then you tell them which tortilla you want either in flour or in corn and I get everything on top. My personal favorite is the steak and spicy pork with everything on top. Around four tacos will get me satisfied and if you're ever in New York City, you have to try this spot. After eating, Next stop, we were heading up to the Grand Sago Boutique on 55th Street and Madison Avenue. This is Grand Seiko's flagship boutique that recently opened in early 2024 and it was my first time visiting the store. I actually wanted to get this SBGA 437 sized because I wanted to take off one small half link. But to my surprise when I asked them about it, they told me that they couldn't do it. They told me that there was a new rule that they were not authorized to touch a watch unless the warranty card is presented. That was something new that I learned and useful information for anyone else that might have a similar situation. If you want them to see your watch or do anything with that, you would need to present a warranty card. It was still cool to see the new boutique and looking around at some of the watches on display. Particularly this rose gold model that was just so stunning. It has a hefty price tag of $45,000, but wow, it was just one beautiful model. After the boutique, we headed off to Central Park and we wanted to go bike riding around the park before the weather got too cold as winter is approaching. 
So we rented some bikes and headed towards the park. Central Park is one of New York City's most classic parks that's visited by people all around the world. It's free to enter and wander about through the massive area and this is another must visit spot in any season. We love going during the fall time with the leaves changing color before they fall. This watch is very versatile, especially with the champagne dial. It goes well with just about everything. I don't think it's purely a sports watch because it has elegance too, so put it on a strap and it becomes a dress watch. I'd probably put it in the gotta or go anywhere, do anything category because this watch really goes well in any situation. With a diameter of 40 millimeters and a thickness of 12 millimeters, it fits on many different wrist sizes. And it also has a water resistance of 100 meters with 72 hours of power reserves. It has all the features that you would need. It has a retail price of around $5,000. And I think the value really comes from buying one second hand. You can pick one up around the mid 2000 to 3000 price point and that is a lot of watch for the money in my opinion. I'd advise you to put this on your watch list if you want a versatile spring drive Grand Seiko. We had so much fun riding around the park with the wind hitting our faces. It was brisk and refreshing but not too cold. The park had some uphill moments but the best part was just going down the hill at a fast speed. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it because I personally had a lot of fun making this and I'm gonna stick to this vlog style while showcasing some watches on my channel. If you want to follow along my adventures and connect, then subscribe to the channel, comment some suggestions, share the video, and just join the channel. I will see you guys all in the next one. Bless.